Well, hello everybody. This is Molly. Okay, I'm going to be recording by holding the camera in my hand instead of on a tripod. Oh gosh, I hope this works. But I wanted to show you a couple of projects I've been working on the last couple of days. I had an incredibly fun uh, scrappy party the other night at my house and was decorating and all and didn't get finished with all the decorations I wanted to do. And here's a few of the things I made after the party that I wanted to have up, but man, I like them so far. Now, this is a salute to one of my, to uh, three of my favorite, four actually, I guess, uh, four of my favorite, favorite, favorite crafters on uh, YouTube when it comes to just, you know, opulence and beautiful things and the people that really inspire me. Hello, Sadie. Come on, get out of the way. Uh, I wanted to share these things with you. So Marlene, Cynthia Luhu, uh, Laura of Rob and Laura. Okay, Sadie, come on, get on. And then uh, the other lady I'm going to have to look up, I think it's Scrappy Happiness. Um, but um, these are some projects that they inspired. You know, I've collected up bunches and bunches of rhinestone buttons and beautiful filigrees and things like that after watching... Um, Marlene and Cynthia and Laura and didn't know what to do with them. I have them on my candy stations on my desk. So I just wanted to show you a couple of the projects. Now the tree in the middle, which I'll try to do some close-ups on, uh, was actually inspired not only by those uh, ladies, but a blog site called Artfully Musing. If you have not gone to that blog site, please, if you don't do anything else, go to that blog site you will be so inspired. The woman is so artistic. I think her name is Laura. But anyway, I'll put the link below. It is incredible artwork. So let me start with this ornament just because it's down low. Okay. One of the ladies online had shown, of course, Cynthia did her 10 days of uh, Christmas ornaments or the 10 ornaments of Christmas. And she covered some balls with lace. And then I had seen um, a couple of other ladies do it. So this was my salute to that. Not near as pretty as what they did, but oh my gosh, I like it. Um, of course, I'm not shabby pinks. I'm teals and uh, reds and greens and things like that, which you can see. But what I did was I took a styrofoam ball, painted it, if you can see, with just some, um, it was Martha Stewart, you know, um, kind of the pearl paint in a light, light, light teal color. And then I covered it with gold lace hot glue and gold lace and the lace just fit around the ball and of course not all the way to the top and all and then I took just an assortment of flowers glued them to the top stickled them can't, you know, just can't have too much stickle and then in the middle for the hanger you'll see where I just poked a stick pin in you recognize those pins from Joanne's with some beads on and all and that holds my um, hanger on and at the bottom I took a filigree the type you get from Monique's store cut it at the different pla at the different seams and bent it up so that it fit around like a giant bead cap on the bottom. Stuck some um, bling on there that I got from Michaels. Used some beautiful beads that I got from Hobby Lobby and Michaels on sale, of course. And another one of those long stick pins. How easy is that? And I think it came out kind of cute. So let me pick it up if I can by the hanger. So you can see where, ooh, that's pretty. Now, Sue did some beautiful shabby shink pink ornaments and all, too. Hers are gorgeous. If y'all haven't seen Sue, 7770000, um, uh, her shabby pink ornaments, I think you'd enjoy those as well. But anyway, so I like how this came out, so thank you, ladies. I don't have it hanging straight. Like, uh, who can get a circle not to hang straight? But anyway, that'd be me. Okay, the next thing, uh, these candles. Uh, Laura, I have all these buttons. Marlene, I'm in, so inspired by all your artwork. I'm not uh, as detail oriented but I just took some um, greenery I got from Michaels on sale cheap 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 made a little arrangement on this candle on a ribbon so I could just slide it off and on without ruining the candle and then put one of the buttons in the middle how easy is that okay hold on another candle I made now this candle had some glitter just put some ribbon around it made a little greenery piece all around there you know picked up the reds and things can you see? Oh, I don't know if y'all can see my picture there and all. But anyway, so it picks up all the colors from that and the colors of Christmas. And then this was some um, bead, you know, like a bead garland, I guess, I got from Michaels on sale. It's so pretty. It's prettier than this is showing it off, but in shades of gold and pearl. And then again, just stuck a pretty um, button in the middle of it. And it made all the difference on that pretty crystal candle holder. Okay, and then last, but I think certainly not least, is the Christmas tree that I made. Let's see if I can start at the top. Uh, got a stick pin, stick it in the top, 
it, the star is on the stick pin. I put some, uh, you know, beads and spacers and pearls, stuck it in the top of the tree, and then just covered that tree top to bottom with rhinestones and bracelet findings and buttons and filigrees and more bracelet findings and more buttons and more rhinestones. All things I found on sale, but even on sale, it takes a load of these things. Now, I bought this size tree from Hobby Lobby. I don't know if you can even see, like, along the bottom, there's got bling. Because the ones at Michael's fit flat on the desk, and I want it to stand up a little. So Hobby Lobby had these. I'm not sure if this late they'd still have them or not. But most of the bracelet findings that you find at um, Michael's, let me see, that was one there below. Let me see if I can find some more. Hmm. There's a bracelet finding. Most of those have a curve to them, so they fit on these things perfectly. But the other things I find myself, you know, I cut off the shanks of the buttons, and then they just kind of fit on there. I had some rhinestone uh, ribbon sliders, and I bent them ever so gently. They, they did kind of break some of them, but oh, what, you just hot glue them in place. These are some beads on top of filigrees. Anyway, so I think you get the idea. And just, of course, the tree. You know what I sprayed it with? Okay, I know, I know. Lindy Stamp Gang. Two or three different colors of turquoises and um, things from Lindy Stamp Gang. But, and see how I just put the buttons on top of the filigree. Isn't that pretty? Okay, let me push it back. Push it back. That doesn't go there, but we're going to put it there for now. So, that's what I've been up to the last couple of days. I'll try to do a little bit better showing off some of the things to you, but I just wanted to share these few projects with you. Okay, y'all have fun, and I hope you have happy times decorating, and uh, happy holidays. Bye.